Do you get enough exercise for a healthy heart? Here's information to help you get moving and reduce your risk for heart disease. Exercising for a healthy heart would mean that you're getting about 150 minutes of moderate intensity exercise per week. So if you were to exercise most days of the week, about five days out of the seven, um, for 30 minutes, then you would reach that goal. You know you're reaching the moderate intensity level of exercise. When you're feeling warm, you maybe a heart rate's up a little bit, um, possibly breaking a sweat. You still should be able to talk when you're exercising. Um, if you're able to sing, then you're maybe not working as hard, so that is an indication that you could be working a little bit more. So some exercises that you can do to kind of fit in the moderate intensity range um, would be walking, and that's a really good one because you can kind of pace yourself based on, you know, what you're capable of doing. Water aerobics um, and also light weights. But really you can do any activity and just kind of base it on, you know, how fast and how slow you're going to change the intensity of the workout. A common misconception um, with working out is that you have to sweat an enormous amount to get a good workout, and that is simply not true. So sweating is not always a good gauge on how hard you're working or how great the workout was. I always tell people if you feel like your heart rate was up and you feel good, then that's what you should go by, not always sweating. It's not going to always tell you how great the workout was. For the ones who have not been exercising regularly, an easy way to get started is find an activity that you love, whether it be walking, water aerobics, Pilates, a group workout class. If you're not able to exercise starting off 30 minutes, you know, straight through, you can always break that 30 minutes up um, within 10 or 15 minute increments. So you could do 10 minutes in the morning, 10 minutes in the afternoon or evening, or 15 minutes in the beginning of the day, 15 minutes at the end of the day. There's so many great benefits of exercise. Some of those can include helping manage your weight, um, decreasing your blood pressure, preventing or managing diabetes, managing your cholesterol, improving your sleep quality, and also helping decrease your stress and anxiety and improving your quality of life overall. I think it's really imperative that you start thinking about your health before you're diagnosed with something or before a heart event. So exercise before anything happens to try and help prevent um, anything in the future. For individuals who have been diagnosed with heart disease or have had a recent cardiovascular event, um, I know working out can be a scary notion because um, they're scared of having another event. Um, but um, exercise has so many different benefits and one of those, it can decrease your risk of having another heart event. So I always talk to your doctor, but I would say please consider exercising um, just to make you all healthier all around. So the most important thing to remember is just keep exercising at least 10 minutes a day to get started and then you can work your way up to the 30. Um, but it's just so imperative for your heart that you get moving and you're exercising. Don't get discouraged. If you miss a day, there's always tomorrow.